Haitian immigrants who do not throw mattresses onto private land, drive down the roads with regard to fellow drivers, and do not eat pets or the waterfowl have nothing to be concerned about. It is the illegals that were shipped here by military aircraft that think that they can do whatever they want that are the problem. The citizens of Springfield are the ones who brought this to the public eye. I watched the entire debate and multiple clips thereof. I did not see one gendered attack against cackling Kamala. He attacked her policies, even if his other two opponents tried to drag him through the mud. But apparently attacking the policies of a woman is attacking a woman. This is more of just calling President Trump whatever ist they want that day. Yes, because the people calling for assassinations, the people falsely calling others fascist, Hitler, and a dictator, do not have explosive rhetoric. Democrats literally started an impeachment scheme over a lie by President Trump's political opponent and continue to call him a fascist without evidence. And they are not going to cool down their rhetoric anytime soon. Then tell me why they are giving these illegals driver's licenses. Do you know the primary source for enrolling voters? That is right the driver's licenses that are issued. Then these people have a photo ID and can vote, and they will vote Democrat, just like they are supposed to. Yes, it is the one that is getting shot at that has to turn down the rhetoric. Even Kavanaugh and Gorsuch were threatened, and they had no dangerous rhetoric at all, not even that which could be construed as such. Let me break Ms. Sorensen's drivel down a bit. Maybe the illegals that were flown into Springfield should start acting like normal people and stop terrorizing the actual citizens. You mean tech billionaires like Mark Zuckerberg? Like Susan Wojcicki? Or formerly Jack Dorsey? Because letting the people of a state choose what they want is undemocratic. Even so, you cannot just call infanticide medical care. Just calling infanticide medical care does not make it medical care. The Democrats could call slavery involuntary servitude, but it is still slavery. No matter what you call infanticide, it is still infanticide. Miss Sorensen just loves her drivel. Even President Trump supports the health of the mother. However, with modern medicine, the number of times that the life of the mother is at risk are virtually non-existent. You could die in a car crash tomorrow, but no one is forcing you to get in a car or be on the road. There are some instances. Calling the abortionist a lifeguard is a pathetic false comparison. It is not his spine. It is that pesky second amendment. What part of shall not be infringed is unclear. Jefferson said that you could put a gun on your boat to stop pirates. And John Adams said that you could have a cannon. Throughout history, after people are disarmed, nothing good ever happens. Let me break Mr. Bowling's gibberish down a bit. Legally is a strong word. They were flown to this city by the Biden administration. And Lisa is right. America stopped a national socialist. Now Democrats want a national socialist. Show me one example of President Trump arguing for racial purity. It is just a straw man that has yet to come to fruition and never will. All these people have to do is follow the immigration process. Without an immigration process, anyone can come in. First of all, liberals only have a problem with conservative rich people. Second of all, Trump banned Epstein from his properties long ago. Third of all, when has President Trump ever called for so-called racial purity? Terrible false comparison. The Jews were hunted in their own countries and had to flee. These Haitians came to America. Mr. Bowling just loves his gibberish. First of all, even President Trump supports the life of the mother. Second of all, the number of times that this would come up are so abnormally low that it is insignificant. Third, the job of parents is to protect their child. This is why a mother will run into a burning room to rescue her child. Does she not realize that she is risking her own life? I have mentioned before that what the IDF is doing does not technically fall under just war. However, when you have been terrorized by these people for decades, I can see the reasoning of the IDF. All these terrorists have to do is agree that Israel has a right to exist. Then the fighting would stop. But they will not do that because their Quran tells them to kill all Jews. If a player refuses to listen to the referee, drastic action may be needed. When one team is known for cheating, the referee has to take extraordinary action. In this case, the extraordinary action is just counting the ballots by hand, which according to people like Mr. Bennett is fascism.